Hey everyone, today is uh, Monday, August 6th. It's about 82 degrees. Um, it's humid, it's hot. But uh, <clears throat> last couple of uh, weeks have been really strange around here. They've been warm and cold. And uh, we've gotten a lot of rain, but when it comes, we get an inch and a half to two inches at a time within like two hours. So a lot of runoff. Uh, not a lot of it's actually soaking into the ground. So the ground's actually pretty dry. And uh, we do need some rain, just like a long day, one day soaker. What do you think? Compared to the beginning of the year? Not too bad, right? Let me spin this around here for you if I can. So we still got some work to do, you know, throughout, but uh, let me actually get you in the better direction for it. So it's it's coming in. I did overseed this. Uh, again, today's um, August 6th. I did overseed this two weeks ago. So right in the middle of July, uh, which you're not supposed to do. I fertilized, overseeded. And I've been watering. Uh, not a lot because of the seed. I don't want it to wash away, but I have been watering. We still have some bent grass and uh, crabgrass and bare spots. It's not perfect by any means, but it is slowly but surely coming along here. And uh, I haven't been posting much at all. I, I do have some videos. I just, I've had no ambition to edit, I guess. Um, so I've been watching a lot of other videos out there. And again, the direction I'm changing to is more um, normal everyday yard care. Again, I'm not knocking the people that get the $30,000 free machines or they get whatever, free mowers. And I'm not knocking those guys. They have great channels. Keep watching them. Uh, they give tons of great information. I'm just... That's not going to be my direction of my channel here. Uh, this is going to be more like this fertilizer came from Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Um, usually I get it from a golf course distributor. I haven't done that in the last couple of years because the yard's just been a sheer disaster. But I got 97% of the sprinklers working now. I had to put down 700 feet of inch and a half, or I'm sorry, of one inch black poly pipe, uh, tons of new sprinklers, because old ones were cut up, chewed. I abandoned a bunch of old lines because I didn't know where they were cut, where they weren't cut. Uh, so it's been a process. It's been a month long, drooling process, but I would say I'm 90, 97% done with sprinklers. So I got a couple of that that I put in without nozzles. I don't know how that happened, but I I do. So I gotta put nozzles in a couple. I gotta finish setting the you know the left hard set, which is usually set on most of them. I try to do that right away when I do that because I, that's the hardest thing to change. Right is super easy, uh, depending on the sprinkler you have. I know that the is it the K line or the Toros. The left set's not that hard to change, but the the Rainbirds, which I love. It's you. You have to pull the head out, turn it, and put it back in to uh, change those. So, give you guys a quick update here. I'll try to get some videos posted on uh, that project over there in that general area. Um, I'm trying to get some seed down over there, but it is so hard. Uh, the ground is so hard. Oh, look at that. I thought somebody was walking up here, which I don't like to talk when people are walking by, but they got a beer. So. It's coming. It's coming along. Again, fertilizer, water, nutrients. People ask, what's water? Fertilizer. Know what you need. Soil test. Those are soil test. Water, the nutrients that you need from your soil test. Those are the three biggest things. If you got buried stumps, those are going to be a problem. You got big rocks, those are going to be a problem. Big rock that was buried. If 
you have constant issue areas, there's probably a reason. Dig down, I would say at least 10 inches. If you don't hit something at 10 inches, it's probably not gonna be a problem, but still could have something down there. But I would say 10 inches, if you dig down 10 inches and you don't hit anything, maybe you got grubs, maybe you got a lot of sand in that area and compared to the rest of, I, I don't know, it could be a thousand different things, but usually you dig down 10 inches, maybe a foot, I guess we could do a foot. Um, chances are you're gonna find something in there. Dig it out, fill your hole, should be good to go. I can't tell you the amount of rocks I have taken out of here. I'd show you the deer over there, but it's right in front of the neighbor's house and I don't necessarily want to do that. Crow. Um, the amount of rocks I have removed from the soil when it was originally put in after the retaining wall project. Now granted, I had, uh, what, 60, 60-ish yards of topsoil hauled in, unscreened. Don't ever do that. It's worth the money. I'm just telling you right now, folks. Uh, they say, oh, it's way cheaper to get the unscreened. Say, thanks, but no thanks. I'm doing the screened because the amount of rocks and roots and glass, uh, probably two-gallon bucket worth of broken glass, you know, shards. It's not like you're picking up huge pieces. So um, it's been a real pain in the butt. It's good topsoil, I think. I did not have it tested, should have had it tested. I have not done a soil test this year, um, but for like four years before that every year. So it pretty much tests the same every year. I'm never gaining ground. I'm not losing ground. My soil is what it is, I guess, I don't know. But no matter what I do, I'm always a little low on potassium, nitrogen. I have a lot of iron <clears throat> and it always needs uh, lime, not a lot but it needs lime. Whatever he says. So, okay guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll try to get some other videos uploaded if I haven't already. Um, sorry for uh, not having a lot lately. As you can tell, I'm out of practice here big time, but I appreciate you sticking around and uh, hopefully you find some of these videos good. And again, we're gonna be low dollar, low, low everything. So. Um, you know, no big free equipment here to help aerate the yard or dethatch the yard. You know, if we're going to do that, we're going to have to rent it or we're going to have to buy a tow behind uh, for the lawnmower or something like that. I'm not budget friendly yard. Maybe that's the best way to explain this. Um, that everybody can do that everybody can do. So that's all I have for now. Thanks for tuning in. I'll check you guys later.